Good morning, my darlings. No, you haven't accidentally clicked on an old vlog from summer. It is the middle of November and I'm still picking dahlias. Isn't this just wild? What is up with the weather? <laughs> It's crazy, it's chilly this morning, my hands, my hands are a little bit numb, but as it's sunny I thought I would come and pick some blooms. Who knows how much longer they're going to go, lots of them are over, so um, I'm going to come down with a truck. I've got a really awful feeling, I can hear a lot of men's voices, I've got a feeling today might be the day that the tree behind these two, the gorgeous one on our driveway, might be getting pollarded. I'll be so sad if that's the case because it really is a stunning tree. Oh, I hope not. One final pom-pom dahlia. I'm coming to get you. We've got a little yellow one tucked away in here. Hello, little survivor. And then even a few labyrinth dahlias over here, nestled in amongst the greenery. Look at my gorgeous new cloches. I've got three of these beautiful hexagonal cloches from Claverton Cloche. I need to come down and um, flip the handle on the lid round so it's the right way round, but they're just such an elegant structural addition to a garden over winter. Great for plant protection. I haven't got anything planted in this one yet, but don't they look absolutely gorgeous? What a beautiful morning. Hello, my handsome boy. Come on. I've just added the dahlias to this little area in the kitchen. We've still got some pumpkins. I don't feel like pumpkins should be banished after Halloween, but I do think very, very soon we're going to start to add some festive touches. In previous years, I've not done it till the 1st of December, but I'm feeling the urge this year. If you watch to the end of the last vlog, you'll know that I was singing Christmas carols in the car on the way home. We've got a couple of buns from home left from my trip to London yesterday in the cake stand. And I just wanted to show you this magical petal because the majority of the dahlia is, as you can see, orange. And yet this one petal has got a half pink stripe to it. How funny is that? It must have I don't know, like touched tubers with the pink dahlia next door. But how lovely. The last of the autumnal seasonal displays before it becomes festive. Well, my darlings, I usually like to um, start chatting to you much earlier on in the day, but I will uh, let you in on a little secret. This, this two week period starting for me right now is actually my busiest two weeks of the year work-wise because of Cyber Week, Black Friday, um, and at the same time, I don't really know what to do with a scholar, at the same time it's when we're prepping Vlogmas. There's a lot that goes into planning Vlogmas, so it's like that, it's cyber, it's the most it's the most messages that I have to share with you over such a condensed period and it's it's hectic. This morning um, I've been filming a lot of Instagram stories to send over to brands getting their feedback, making amends to text on screen, stuff like that. I mean, it's it's not, it's, what do they say? It's it's PR, not ER. Um, but yeah, it's it's been a little bit hectic. And it's my birthday during this two week period as well, which is literally the last thing on my mind. But um, add on to all of that, I've also got a poorly husband. Yes, um, Charlie has got the flu, which is um, obviously not good. Poor Charlie, he's not sleeping very well um, and I want to make him something that's going to make him feel better and equally that's going to hopefully prevent me from getting it. So I've been, I've actually been wanting to make this for a little while and I ordered these little pasta stars from Amazon a couple of weeks ago with the aim of making this exact recipe but I just didn't make it yet. So I'm going to make it today and it's called the pastina recipe and it's apparently what Italian nonnas make for um, the family and it's known as the Italian penicillin. It's basically, sounds delicious, like a veggie stock soup with little pasta shapes in it. Sounds amazing and I believe what you have to do is add a whole onion, a few cloves of garlic, some celery and some carrots into boiling water and then you take those veggies out once they've cooked a little bit blend them with a little bit of the cooking water 
And then that makes a soup within which you put your cooked pasta. That is what I believe it to be. Um, so I'm gonna make that right now and take some up to Portie Charlie. I thought I would also add in a little bit of my homemade veggie stock because why not? I'm still not wearing my wedding ring, <laughs> by the way, you might have spotted. I have, however, accessorized with a brand that has got the most amazing Cyber Week sale already on. I'm gonna tell you more in a second, Monica Vinita. Um, this ring, oh my goodness, pale hands. I really need to do some tanning. This gorgeous pearl ring is back in stock. I'm gonna leave this link down below. And then I've accessorized with a few of my green favorites on this hand bracelet. I'll tell you more about that after lunch because I need to just cook something, eat something, and then my brain will be switched on. Okay, so I've got two liters of water in here boiling, and then this is one of my veggie stocks that I actually had Oh my gosh, it smells so good. In the freezer. Um, it's been defrosting this morning. I'm gonna add this in, just as a really tasty base. It smells so good already. And then these are the veggies. So I'm following a recipe from a website called, I think it's called the Modern Nonna. So she recommends four carrots, two ribs of celery cut in half, a large yellow onion peeled and quartered, and then four cloves of garlic peeled. Not forgetting half a teaspoon of salt. So that's really the main bulk of the effort done by preparing the veg. As soon as this comes up to boil, which is gonna be any second now, I'm gonna pop a lid on and then move it to a slightly lower heat for 45 minutes. And then when these veggies are soft, I'm gonna add them along with two spoonfuls of the cooking water into the blender to smooth them out and turn this into a delicious soup. Okay, time to let this simmer. Alexa, set timer for 45 minutes. Now, unsurprisingly, I'm gonna be doing another batch of my veggie stock with the veg that are left. So I've halved the onions and just sliced the um, garlic thingy in half and I'm going to drizzle this with olive oil. I have got my stasher bag in the freezer full of veggie scraps that I'm going to get out and defrost and then when this is done I will cook this all up as a nice veggie stock to replenish what I've used. So a little bit of sea salt and I'm just gonna slow roast this for the 45 minutes that this takes to boil. This is a completely different recipe unrelated to the pastina, but um, I'll leave the blog post link down below for my veggie broth and why I think it's so amazing, especially at this time of year um, when people are starting to get a little bit fluey. Now, I really don't want to be very boring and repetitive, um, so I promise this is the last time I'm going to mention this, but if you do want to try making the veggie broth or veggie stock, it's so easy and it's practically a free thing to enjoy. I will leave a little preview of the blog post up on the screen here because that goes into it in more detail um, and gives you some ideas on how you can use the veggie stock or broth. You can have it as a plain soup, I love to put noodles and peas in it for a really nice quick midweek lunch that's super healthy and nutritious and tasty um, and keeps you full for a surprisingly long time. But also it's just, if like me, you hate waste, then it's an amazing way of using up your um, veggie scraps. So I get these really big stasher bags from Amazon. They are so useful. In fact, I think I've got some more arriving today and I got them in at the Cyber Week sale. Um, I'll leave them linked down below, but in here, and I just keep adding to it over the week, these are my veggie scraps. So we've got from the tiny little like tops of garlic that I've not used in a recipe to the stems of broccoli. And yes, you can put the frozen veg straight in the pot. It's not gonna hurt. Oh my gosh, of course, chicken bones. <laughs> Yeah, you can do meat bones as well, as long as none of your people eating it are gonna be veggie or vegan. If Charlie makes a vegetable trivet um, with a Sunday roast, then I'll put the veggies from that in here. <laughs> Down here at the bottom, we have got a leek and pea mixture. And that was actually vegetable 
gonna have to wait for that to defrost a bit. That was actually vegetable um, leftovers from a roast. But the thing that's most important that I've got in the oven, I would say to make this really tasty and nutritious, you do need onion and garlic. And then celery and carrots are the next kind of like bonus things to add. But just don't forget to save your scraps. Like bits like this can be thrown in. Tops of carrots, ends of garlic. I'm gonna stick in this entire thing, end leaves and all of my celery. And I also love to go down into the kitchen garden and see what um, is growing and left over that I can stick in. Any veggies that are kind of coming to the end and potentially not gonna be that tasty anymore, just whack them all in. Um, and as you can see, I've got the chicken bones here as well. So this is gonna have to simmer for actually a really long time. It's probably gonna have to simmer until like 8 p.m. this evening so I definitely won't be able to eat anything from this today but it's a rainy day I'm working from home all day today so it's a good day to have a nice um this is now a veggie and chicken broth simmer simmering away and the great thing about meat bones so like beef or chicken is that they're apparently full of collagen I don't know much about this but apparently they're full of collagen and by simmering you break down the bones and you get the collagen from the bones which is so good for you and they really are delicious okay enough about broth obviously when the bits that I just put the olive oil on in the agar have roasted for about 45 minutes I'll stick them in here cover this with water bring it up to boil and then let it simmer for around six hours Okay, my darlings, I've got 25 minutes on the Alexa left for my veggies. And I thought in the meantime, I'm going to share with you one of my favorite brands that goes into massive reductions at this time of year. It is, of course, Monica Vinader. I've got so many of their gorgeous pieces in my collection. It's probably the first brand that I invested in really premium jewelry. I still actually remember when I first discovered the brand and it was thanks to my, at the time, manager, my regional manager, when I worked at the Reese flagship on Barrett Street and she had the most gorgeous collection of Monica Vinader rings. Do you remember when like their entire jewelry collection was rings like this, but with just one stone? And and um, yeah, I just thought they were the most beautiful things ever and I've still got some of my very first pieces in my collection. They truly do stand the test of time and they always do incredible things over the cyber week and I've got I've got a few new bits from them so I thought now is just the perfect time to share those with you. If you want to know like all of the discount codes that are needed across Cyber Week, then please do check out my Black Friday hub on the blog. I'll pop a preview of the Black Friday hub up on the screen here so you can see just how easy it is to shop for my absolute favorites. And if a brand has offered us an exclusive extra discount, then that will be on that blog post as well. So yeah, that'll be linked at the very top of the description box. And I might actually pin a comment linking to it as well because it's just, the place to go. So Monica Vinader, they are premium jewellery pieces, they are very well made and now is without doubt the best time of the whole year to purchase from them because they've got the best discounts. I do have an always on 20% off code with them which is on the screen here so just pop that in your back pocket but at the moment there are even bigger and better deals across the site. They do tend to sprinkle new ones in throughout the cyber week so I would just recommend um, popping your favourites in your basket from the links down below. Sorry about the wind and the chainsaw noise in the background today is miserable um yeah and doing your shopping from there so let's get started let's actually begin with a little gift this was something that i was not expecting it's a little gift from the monica vinader team which is exceptionally kind of them their packaging by the way is all recycled and recyclable i love that they um consider that and it's just beautiful packaging anyway this gorgeous elegant burgundy box Ooh, this feels quite chunky i'm intrigued <gasps> oh these are stylish i've actually not seen these before they are quite like architectural hoops look at that oh my gosh i feel like i do i do love a pearl a monica van der pearl is so very timeless my legs are getting cold just standing here because the wind is literally coming through our windows but even the most simple and cozy of jumpers can be made to look so stylish with the addition of a big pair of hoops and 
Ooh, Monica Vinander is not like, I don't necessarily think of them as hoops. Um, I think of them as more kind of decorative, elegant bits of jewellery. But clearly, they do some fabulous hoops as well. They're surprisingly lightweight too. They're not going to like pull down your earlobe. I love it! Doesn't that just instantly make this very cosy jumper and legging outfit appear as though I've put so much more thought into it? I'm wearing a mega cosy cable knit from a brand called Really Wild Clothing. I've got some really gorgeous pieces from them. I'll probably show you in the next video because otherwise it's just gonna be a lot, isn't it? And then I'm wearing, in my opinion, the best Amazon leggings. They now do the ones with the crossover. I'm sorry, they look kind of strange color, but they are actually just black. And um, they're the brand that give you the great booty, super affordable kind of a little bit inspired by along the same lines as Adenola, um, but a fraction of the price, so I'll leave them linked down below as well. Anyway, back to jewellery, and thank you so much to Monica Veneda for so kindly sending over these hoops. I feel like they really do elevate a cosy working from home day like today. And then I have got a few bits here to unbox with you, which are pieces which I've actually chosen. There's quite a few, so we'll do a speed round. I will leave all of these linked down below in the order that I'm showing them to make it just that little bit easier for you to shop. So I love, especially at this time of year when my hands are pale and um, they just need accessorizing to look fabulous, I love stacking up rings. This one here is made from a kind of hammered gold and it just is gonna be the perfect stacking ring. It even looks really nice thrown on top of my little green clustering love that Ooh, and these are kind of the matching earrings i will show you me wearing these tomorrow because i'm just absolutely loving the giant hoops right now but i've got a really fun supper club to go to tomorrow evening and a delicate little hoop like this <laughs> i'm now realizing that actually my favorite pair of hoops are from monica vinader and i just said to you that i don't think of monica vinader as a hoop brand but actually my favorite hoops um which i've been wearing in, in a lot of the past vlogs that you all probably remember they are monica vinader so i take it back they are a hoop brand the camera is gonna really struggle to show you this but here we have got another gorgeous ring for stacking and this one is again a kind of hammered metal but just with wow can you even see just with one delicate little gemstone in the middle that's really nice for just creating a very subtle um, dressing for a finger that maybe you wouldn't normally wear a ring on love that feels so weird without my wedding band um, but I'm still just not ready to start wearing it. That looks so elegant. I'm sorry for the pale hand. I literally look like I've got ghostly limbs. Ah, I was really, really excited for this one. This one is giving Cartier. That's all I'm gonna say. So it's a classic kind of flat ring, but it's got diamonds all around the edges. I think what I will do is I will do a last minute edit of this video the day that it's gonna go live with the sale prices of the individual pieces on the screen here because right now as I'm filming this, I don't know <laughs> what they're gonna be, um, but I will by the time the day comes that this video is actually going live because obviously I'm filming this in advance. Um, that is Stunnerillo. That's absolutely beautiful. I don't know that I would ordinarily wear quite this many rings, but I can already tell you this is going to be part of my everyday middle finger ring stack. That is so gorgeous and that looks so expensive. And also, I don't ever take my jewellery off, like even my, my Van Cleef necklace, I get told off all the time for not taking it off, but I would never wear nice things if I had to keep taking them on and off. So when something goes on my middle finger ring cluster, it stays there. Maybe that's why I got sore on my wedding ring. Who knows? All I mean is the quality of these pieces is so good that you don't need to take them off every time you wash your hands. Ooh, <gasps> yes. Okay, <laughs> I saw a few people talking about this collection on Instagram. Kate Young has done a collab with Monica Vinader and the pieces that she has created are just stunning. I couldn't help but choose this gorgeous, chunky kind of tortoise style ring. I'm not gonna apologize again for the state of my hands. They're pale. That's just, it's November. <laughs> oh gosh, ooh, 
quite tight. Yes, this whole collection that Kate has done with Monica Vinader, I think is just absolutely gorgeous, timeless. Looks, again, looks super expensive. Goes with my brown autumnal nails and fabulous for, again, stacking up your, oh, I can see the top of the tree shaking. Would it be weird for me to cry for a tree? Oh my God. Can you see, it's not, not this tree, it's that tree there behind the tree on our driveway. They're literally, t okay, this is gonna sound really weird, but they're literally in the process of taking down my favorite branch. And I know it's weird to have a favorite branch, but that one just creates the most beautiful shadow over our driveway. And I can't believe I'm standing here watching it go down. Like I'm actually close to tears. I don't know if I can watch this, I'm too emotional. Sorry, I just had to actually go and sort myself out because I'm crying over a tree. It's just such a beautiful tree and my favorite wedding photos were taken underneath that branch and I'm literally watching it get taken down right now. I know it's better than the whole tree being taken down. Basically, the branches, they keep falling down. When we have a windy day, there's always one in the driveway and it's just become unsafe. It could smash the roof of the chapel. It could smash the roof of our gym if a big one were to fall down. And they have been falling down a lot. So um, we had some tree surgeons come and they decided the best thing to do is to pollard the tree. So, it's just really sad because it's so beautiful and it just like you can see it from so many angles of our house i need to look at pretty bits of jewelry to make me feel better <laughs> this is another pair of earrings from the same collection from monica benada Ooh, ah interesting so obviously they're very unique bits of metal and material i don't know what the brown is i'll leave the material that is the brown material on the screen here because you can tell it's really unique and not like every piece is the same because one earring is significantly darker than the other but they look like they look like a buns from home cinnamon roll do they not make you want to have a cinnamon roll like immediately to me that is a cinnamon roll in an earring and it's making me hungry and excited for my pudding i'm gonna have my second buns from home afterwards um but yeah they just look like little knots and i feel like with a white high neck jumper these are gonna look so elegant and I'm pretty sure these will also be in the Cyber sale. Should I put them in now? Do you know what? I'm so excited to try them and I need cheering up. Having watched my favorite branch get taken down from the tree. I love these though, like how fabulous. If you're a big hoop kind of gal, these are a little bit more subtle. But is that not just gorgeous i love it i feel like these are very chic these are very elegant and i think they might just be my new favorite pair of earrings and i love the fact that they match with the ring couple more pieces then our soup should be ready and this is just gorgeous i feel like this would make for the loveliest gift it is the most beautiful little hammered metal heart from monica vinader 2024 brides this would be such a nice bridesmaid gift and pick them up now in the cyber sale like now is the best time to get your gifts think about the year ahead are you going to be doing galentines are you going to be asking someone to be your bridesmaid not those pieces but monica vinander do do a lot of personalized pieces so a lot of their bracelets that have got the flat um in fact those of you that watch this channel for a long time, is this one personalized? No. Um, but a lot of their bracelets that do look like this can be very easily personalized. And those of you that have been around these parts for a very long time, you may recall that I actually use Monica Vinader jewelry to manifest my goals. So I have got a Monica Vinader friendship bracelet with 100,000 engraved in it and 250,000 engraved on it and half a million engraved on it and I told myself what day I was going to give myself those bracelets and I manifested that those would be the days that I would hit those milestones on my YouTube channel and it worked every time. But yeah, the moral of the story being that you can get a lot of Monica Vinander bits engraved and personalised. I think Alexa is bleating, so very quick, final piece. Aha! 
I'm pretty sure this would be able to get personalised because you got a lot of like flatness and it is one of their sensationally elegant, timeless, gorgeous bangles. This one is plain gold, yellow gold with just one diamond in the middle. They look just so pretty stacked up with more kind of loose fitting bracelets. They look really gorgeous against a watch and just a very elegant little glimpse of jewellery coming out of knitwear sleeves at this time of year. I can't watch this tree massacre any longer. It's making me too emotional and I'm too hungry. So um, I'm gonna head downstairs now and finish the pastina, but I'll leave all of these gorgeous bits down below because this really is one sale that you're not gonna wanna miss out on. Okay, kettle is boiling for the pastina and we've got veggie broth that's in action over here. I've just got the veggies out of the aga. They've been roasting away. So we'll add those in for some delicious flavor. And then I'll just forget about this for literally the entire rest of the day, six or seven hours. Um, and then at the end of the day, we'll have the most scrumptious veggie and chicken bone broth to enjoy. Salt ready for cooking the pastina. I'm gonna do a good amount of this because I think it's gonna be delish. Yummy. Did I mention I bought the pastina on Amazon? Because I couldn't find it anywhere else. So in here we have got my onion, celery, garlic and carrot mix that has been simmering for 45 minutes. I'm popping the solid veg. Alexa timer off. I'm popping the solid veg into the blender. Along with two cupfuls of the cooking water. And I'm going to blend this until completely smooth for two minutes. So here's all the veggies blended together. Now, now we add them back into this liquid mix. Now let's give this a try. Mm. Quite carroty but delicious. Let's do a little bit more salt and pepper. Drain the pasta. And now I'm gonna split the pasta between our bowls and ladle on top our yummy veggie broth. <gasps> going to have to crouch down. I'm gonna add a, oh goodness me, that nearly went very badly wrong. Adding a little bit more pepper. So this is the Italian pastina, known as the Italian penicillin, great for um, flus and colds and just feels like a very, family friendly, like child friendly, yummy, easy on the tummy kind of soup. And I just love soups and pastas. So for me, this is a dream. Let's give it a try. Oh my gosh. That's so good. Mm. It certainly doesn't look anything fancy, but let me tell you, this literally tastes like wellness in a bowl. I will apologize I will apologize now for the final time for the noise of the chainsaws and the tree destruction noise in the background. Um you might be thinking Josie just move to another part of the house, but this is also the only part of the house that has any form of um, daylight at the moment. So unfortunately we're, <laughs> we're quite restricted. It's half past three, but it's that like low gray cloud that means everywhere is almost pitch black <laughs> to be honest. Feeling surprisingly full considering that soup was literally like blended vegetable water and a little bit of pasta, but it was so tasty and the house smells amazing. So hopefully I'm gonna be immune from whatever Charlie's got and Charlie is gonna make a speedy recovery. Fingers crossed. So 
I've mentioned this morning, um, throughout cooking and other various bits, a few things from Amazon. And Amazon is another one that is amazing at this time of year because even like the handy little bits that we all just need, like the stasher bags, often go down into incredible discounts during Cyber Week. And when you're watching this video, they will have released all of the discounts, which is amazing. It is always impossible for me to tell this far in advance when I'm filming exactly what's going to go into the sales. So what I will do is I'll show you on the screen here a little preview of my LTK page because on here I do like daily edits of the best things on Amazon and we spend hours finding the absolute best deals whether it is on gorgeous robes or towels or gilets, whatever, coffee machines, TVs, useful stuff, clothing, home, etc and we create edits and we put them on LTK so I definitely recommend you check that out but I thought to celebrate the fact um, that Amazon will be in the sale at the time of this video going live I'm going to show you a few bits that I have purchased from there recently I'll do I will film the try on for this in the morning because of said darkness levels but I couldn't resist this absolutely gorgeous little um, cable knit roll neck short jumper dress. I thought it just looked absolutely gorgeous. It's got really lovely cable neck classic design. I do love a little roll neck and a very sweet little kind of flip and flip and no fit and flare. Fitted on the bodice and then flare out on the skirt silhouette which is actually my favourite of all silhouettes. A little fit and flare. I guess you could say that my wedding dress was a kind of fit and flare. Fitted on the bodice and then flared out for the skirt. I think it's so flattering. It's so body elongating and a really timeless silhouette and you can pick up like I ordered that yesterday and it arrived today so that was fantastic and oh including the leggings I'm wearing right now that I showed you earlier these will be in Amazon's um sale which is amazing I would so highly recommend stocking up on these I don't know if it's arrived yet in my little basket of Amazon new in um again if not I'll show you a little preview clip of me modeling it on the screen here but thermals thermals are essential at this time of year worn underneath all of your knitwear all of your cozy layers just to ensure that you stay warm or stay temperature regulated they will be reduced in the amazon cyber week sales so let me show you the fun bits some of the more random bits um we've unboxed everything in pop straw in here for ease i just also flung my headbands in because i feel like these are a little unsung hero and i have been I have been wearing my cute little brown headbands and these were from Amazon. I just think they're adorable. I quite like it when I'm not really done much with my hair styling wise, but even if you do do a little flick at the end, yeah, really happy with my little brown headband collection that I got from Amazon. So the one that I'm wearing now is slightly more champagne-y. This one is a little bit more of a chestnut. I think that looks very Gilmore Girls, Gossip Girl kind of preppy style. I'm gonna leave that on actually, it's cute. Something else which is an essential at this time of year and also a really nice gift idea and that I did notice is already down in the sale are their cashmere socks. Cashmere socks are just, again, an essential because they keep your feet so warm. I feel like such a, like, sensible Sandra telling you but it really does keep your feet so warm if you wear cashmere and if you don't know where to get someone get them a pair of cashmere socks because not many people really like treat themselves to a pair of cashmere socks but once you got them in your wardrobe in your sock drawer you're forever grateful because on the chilliest of dog walks these keep your feet toasty speaking of socks <laughs> I noticed that these were already reduced and these are the ones that I wear um, basically every day inside my gym trainers because they've got the little, can you see, they've got like a little lip which stops your sock from sliding into your trainer and yeah I wear them every day so I thought I would go wild and treat myself to some new colourful socks. I am also planning on starting to wrap the very few <laughs> Christmas gifts which I've already purchased this weekend and I thought ahead I've ordered a giant roll of white craft paper and recycled brown craft paper because I actually think that that's the chicest way of wrapping your gifts and um, I got that on Amazon. And I also picked up a few different types of ribbon. I think this is the one that I had last year, the green velvet. And then these are like various shades of sage. 
and over white or brown craft paper. They just look so lovely, very simple, very elegant and um, yeah, personally, I love how gifts look, which is a very delicate little bit of ribbon. And then this one, I think, might become my favourite this year. It's actually called the Country Hessian, and it is wired, which means if you do a beautiful bow shape, then it just kind of holds itself up. I predict that I will be using this one the most and probably end up needing to order more, but... If I have time, I will do a little bit of gift wrapping with you here in the vlog um, tomorrow. We've also got a really fun, did I mention already, supper club tomorrow evening, which I'm really looking forward to taking you along to. I might even wear my new cable knit dress because I think that with brown tights and brown boots is gonna be gorgeous. But yes, I will do a little bit of gift wrapping tomorrow and I'll show you how it looks with these. And I always love to find cozy little bits and bobs on Amazon. And I saw these really remarkably soft and squishy and incredibly affordable in the cyber discounts slippers. They've almost got like a memory foam sole. And then they've got this incredibly soft, fluffy crisscross detail on the top. Now, Charlie and I actually, I don't know if you can see any in here, maybe. You can't, but I can. Um, Charlie and I like to leave slippers in the bedrooms for our guests to borrow when they stay with us. And often guests will say how comfy they are. They're all Amazon. So very often we're just like, oh, take them home. They're yours, little, little gift. So we need to replenish <laughs> some of the slippers in our guest rooms. So I've picked up these. We've actually got Charlie's sister staying with us um, at the weekend and these are in her size. So um, yeah, I feel like that's a nice little early Christmas gift to make her feel very cozy and comfortable at home here during the festive season. Gosh, you can actually put these in the washing machine to wash them. And they do actually have a memory foam sole. So that wouldn't be good for lots of our guests to share the same pair, even though I can wash them because the foam is gonna mold to the first person's foot, isn't it? So yeah, Merry Christmas, Scarlet. No, your eyes do not deceive you. I have changed a jumper because something else that I love to have a little browse at and pick up on Amazon are really practical countryside style pieces. There goes the lighting. I'm suddenly in Smurf mode, that's no good. Ooh, but you can see just how soft and cozy this fleece is. This is a little, it's lighting. I just came down to check on my stock and also change my camera battery. And my babies have made themselves very comfortable. Have you my Dexy? Are you nice and warm by Dexy's Saga? Are you nice and warm by Dexy's Saga? Yes, you're so smart. And I can tell that somebody's feeling very relaxed. Are you awake or are you asleep? I can't tell. Oh, mummy, I'm awake and please don't bother me. I'm so floof. <laughs> I'm so sorry to have pestered you, my scruffy child. <laughs> You're so funny. And I've just whizzed um, this knit on, this um, fleece because this is also in the Amazon sale. <laughs> I don't know why I did that weird voice. I'm going mad. I just said to Chloe, I want to just like get into bed and watch Harry Potter when it's so dark and dreary outside. And I really do feel so sad about the tree. Like, I'm on the edge of crying all day because of a tree. <laughs> What's mummy like, Dixie? Mummy needs cuddles. But anyway. This fleece is also in the Amazon sale. And it's gorgeous. It's one of my most like thrown on things for nipping into the greenhouse. It's quite similar to the Holland Cooper country fleece. It is. It's got the leather trim on the edges. It's got a little leather trim on the sleeve. Sleeve? I'm sorry, I'm not with it. Um, you've got leather trim on the pockets. I'm actually now head to Amazon because I've got on the cozy fleece and then I've got on the fabulous leggings. And you think, because I'm over here, it's time for cuddles, don't you? You do, and I'm happy to oblige. And I'm in love with you. And you're already smitty, what are you doing me? I'll take a child. Do you know what I think I'm gonna do? I think I'm just gonna not get into bed, but I'm gonna light the fire down here and I'm going to do my Black Friday blog edits on my laptop 
with Harry Potter on in the background. Basically, what we do is we just spend hours and hours and hours going through all the websites, finding all the best deals, and putting them on the blog. And I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna have a mega troll through Amazon. Um, you're so smelly, but I don't mind. <laughs> Charlie and I always say that when the doggies like come up to us, we're like, "Well, you're so smelly, but I don't mind." And uh, it's just like a comforting smell. Ooh. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, so I'm gonna do a little troll of Amazon. I've got really bad breath, but I don't mind. I'm gonna do a troll of Amazon. I'm gonna do a countryside edit. I'll show you what that has looked like on the screen here. And also a little cozy edit because you can always find at this time of year really good deals for things like, bless you, hot water bottle covers and cozy robes, candles, everything you need for pamper night and also really good gift ideas. So yes, I'm gonna to put together those edits now with the help of my fluffy, smelly assistant. Um, and then I'm gonna to have to start thinking about dinner. And then I'm gonna to go to bed at like 7 p.m. I think, it's that kind of day. You're so stinky, but I love it. <laughs> oh, you're so smelly. <laughs> I do need a nice cozy warming beverage to accompany me while I do this so I'm going to make because I'm also just determined not to get Charlie's flu I'm going to make um, a nice turmeric latte and we are trying a new oat milk it's from uh, Charlie actually found it Glebe Farm not the Glebe Farm that we go to the um, pumpkins for it's a different Glebe Farm and it's um you know, a little bit, a little bit better ingredients than Oatly. So I'm going to make my afternoon turmeric latte, latte, <laughs> latte with this, and let's see how it tastes. So you will need a little hand whisk. No prizes for guessing where this is from. Yes, I got this on Amazon as well. Highly recommend if you're going to make some nice at-home versions of your Starbucks favorites. So oat milk. Lovely, I'll make some for Chloe as well. Let's add in a good couple of teaspoons of turmeric. I did a, um, a co-pilot workout this morning and I just got a message on my watch from my trainer, Jill. Ooh, I still don't really know how to use this. Oh, I've got a message from all plants. Oh my gosh, I can see my text messages on here. I didn't know that. Um, yeah, and Jill was saying she really likes all of my different um, workout pieces. And I said to her, darling, they're from Amazon. Even my Apple Watch strap was from Amazon. Do you ever wonder what we did before Amazon? <laughs> cray cray. Teaspoon and a half of ground cinnamon. A couple of cardamom pods. And I follow a lady on Instagram, she's called the Chief Spice Mama, and she said you have to let your turmeric latte or your chai latte bubble up twice, like come to the boil twice. So I'm gonna give that a go. But we also need some ground nutmeg. And the final ingredient, I'm just gonna add in a little dash, if I can open it, oh, of vanilla extract. Okay, so this has now boiled up and it's looking frothy and delightful. Final, final, final. I'm just adding a little scoop of the um, chaga powder from Dirty, which I think is probably also on Cyber. I think this is 20% off at the moment. I'll leave them linked in the description box. I'm going to add a teaspoon of this just straight into my glasses and you all know where you can get these from. And that will just give me that little energy boost that I feel like I need to see me through the afternoon. One final whiz. Wow's whisk. Quick taste test and it needed to be a little bit sweeter so I just added a tiny touch of maple syrup. But there we go. A quick and easy, delicious, homemade turmeric latte. I cannot even tell you how good the house smells right now with the chicken and veggie broth that just bubbling away in the background and I kind of want to have the pastina for my dinner as well but that would be a little bit weird. Um, sorry, I can see my laptop screen open in the background. Hey Bun Bun. 
because I am catching up on emails. I can't go on Netflix because Charlie is watching Netflix upstairs in bed. He's actually spent the whole day in bed, which is not good. We even moved the sky glass up there so that he can have um, a better viewing experience <laughs> during his illness. It's not COVID, but he's just fluey, which is a shame. Anyway, more Amazon <laughs> has arrived today. So I thought given the theme of what I've been chatting about, we could just have a little look inside together. Are you going to help me learn? What have I ordered? Ah, oh, this is another ribbon. It is another green, kind of a little bit shinier, almost like organza style ribbon. It looks a lot shinier on camera than it does in real life, I think, because you're literally, you've got a, a lamp behind you, which is illuminating it. And then also another packet of Twizzly spaghetti because it just makes your pasta dish taste so much better. Yum! That's not all. In this second delivery bag is what I've actually been most excited to receive, and it is my new dressing gown. I just feel like my Soho home one that I wear every single day. I probably started this vlog wearing it. I can't remember that far back. It's just getting a little bit scruffy. And this one I searched far and wide. I must have read about nine gazillion reviews. This one had the best reviews and, oh my gosh, it is as soft and fluffy as the Soho home ones. You may not really be able to tell, but it is um, actually a really light pink. It looks more gray on camera. I'll show you in real light tomorrow morning. But the thing that makes this better than the Soho home dressing gown is that it's got pockets, which is crucial for popping your phone in when you are pitter pattering around in the mornings. Oh my gosh. If you're on the quest for the perfect dressing gown, I shall leave that one linked down below. It's nearly as soft as my Dexy. And then I must have been in a robe mood because um, my dressing gown, which is also from Amazon, the dark green silky one that I wear for fake tanning, I thought, <laughs> this is really ridiculous, but I thought I needed a winter version because in the cold of winter, I just don't want to be wearing a silk dressing gown <laughs> sometimes. So I thought I would treat myself to another one. And this one is also dark green, so we'll hide my um, fake tan marks. And it is a waffle pattern. Hold on. So yes, there we go, two robes. And then we've actually got one more box here. And this one contains my Amazon beauty purchases. So I always get my Red Ken One United spray from Amazon. It's just the easiest thing for me. And when I finish one, I just put it in my basket for next day delivery. It's so easy. I use this every single time I wash my hair. It's a real multitasker. It's actually, it says 25 benefits, all in one multi-benefit treatment. This product has had many names and it's also the same as the Pureology Miracle Filler, but a little bit cheaper. I'm just loving that I'm getting notifications on my um, watch. I don't know why I've never noticed that before today. Just got um, someone that I follow on YouTube. I got a notification that they'd left a comment on my video, which is awesome. Um, Yes, I would recommend this so highly. It stops your hair from going frizzy, heat protects, um, makes it easier to comb through, makes it so much quicker to, sorry, they're just kissing each other and being so cute. Makes it easier to comb through, makes it quicker to blow dry. It's amazing. And then the final, final, final product that I'm gonna show you, and I apologize for how product heavy <laughs> This vlog has been so far. I promise tomorrow is a wholesome day. <laughs> Can't promise I won't talk about anything, but um, mm, mm, it's going to be a really fun day tomorrow. The last thing, he's climbing on me like I am Pride Rock. Has anyone else just been bombarded with adverts on their Instagram for the Clean Skin Club? For these like skincare towels. I thought I would try them and I saw them in the sale on Amazon. So I thought I'd give them a try. I think they're literally like, 
I think they are single use, which is obviously not ideal, but then they are bamboo, so they're biodegradable, like completely biodegradable. A hygienic alternative to regular face towels. Once you try them, you'll never want to go back to using your old washcloth. I don't mind my washcloth at the moment, but I understand um, Regular towels can be much dirtier than you might think. Dead skin, detergent residue and bacteria can reside in the fibres of conventional bath towels or washcloths and even persevere through a laundry cycle. Blech. If you ever encounter a towel that smells funky, you now know why. I've got to say, a few of my, sing my non-single use reusable cotton pads, they are starting to smell a bit funker. So yeah, I thought I'd give this a try. I'll give them a try tonight and I'll let you know how I get along. Um, but yeah, Instagram advertising worked and made me want to purchase these. So there we go, my Amazon orders for the day. As you can see, the fire is lit, the laptop is out. I'm going to stick something on the TV in the background while I do a little bit more work for the evening. But first I'm going to go and check on Paulie Charlie. I've got to get up bright and early for Pilates in the morning. So unless I end up cooking something exciting for dinner, unlikely. I think I will see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning. Good night. Did you know I had a little tiny bunny rabbit with me that whole time? Mm -hmm. I wish you guys could smell him. Not that it's always the nicest smell, but it's so nice to me. You are so loved. Tree haircut in action. Good morning, my darlings. It's Friday morning now. We've got some very dramatic clouds up there, very dramatic weather today. You might be able to hear the sound of the chainsaw again. I just showed you a little clip of the guy hanging precariously from the tree. You can't see it so much from this side. But it's safe to say the haircut has been severe. Oh my goodness, it is really chilly out here. I'm gonna head back inside and then we can catch up properly. Hello my darlings. Um, good morning, probably from me on this Friday morning. I'm letting my hair just sit a few minutes longer again. Was it the other day I said I looked like um, Elizabeth Swan Swan's father in Pirates of the Caribbean? I'll put a picture of him up on the screen here. And then when I'm doing my makeup, I hold my hair back either with one of my headbands or a pair of sunglasses, whichever I come across sooner. And these are my um, favourite little Amazon ones, the tortoise shell. And they're amazing and I absolutely love them. I popped on the knit dress today as well. I couldn't wait to wear it. Um, and I've even got a thermal underneath. Did you notice? <laughs> My little thermal sleeves. So really nice and cosy. Um, I'll show you the dress properly in a second when I stand up and have brushed out my hair. But I'm just going to let my hair set a few minutes longer because I find the longer that you let it sit in its tight curls, the longer the curls last throughout the day. Having said that, it's already half two actually, so they've only got a last half a day left, but again I've got quite a lot of story filming I need to do today, and then I've got a supper club at the Chippy Flower Farm tonight, which is Flower Farm? Chippy Flower Farm. That doesn't sound right, but it is right. The Chipping Norton Flower Farm with Petra. So really looking forward to that. Accessories, these are the earrings that I mentioned yesterday, but I didn't show you yesterday when I was saying about how I didn't think of hoops for Monica Vinader, but then I remembered my favorite hoops are Monica Vinader, and it's these ones, which I love. Again, again, they look a little bit funny with my poodle hair, so we'll sort that out in a second. And this new ring from Monica Vinader, 
kind of matches and I just absolutely love that. The rest of my rings I took off before bed, so they're downstairs. I did promise I wasn't gonna go on about a million products today, but it is Cyber Week, so <laughs> let me off just this one week. Elizabeth Arden is another really, really good one. As you know, I do have my hub on the blog. We'll pop a preview on the screen here. Um, the day that I'm filming this, it's now live, so I know it'll be live when you're watching this but um, we're updating it every day, multiple times a day with the best deals. And Elizabeth Arden, the code, ah, Josie30 is the code, and that will get you 30% off everything. And if you spend over 45 pounds, then you get a free cleanser, which is amazing. So I would definitely recommend the lipstick that I'm wearing right now is Notably Nude. Um, it's probably my favourite lipstick of the year actually. It's been the one that I've worn the most and whenever I do wear it I get the most questions on both online and in real life. So Notably Nude, we'll leave this link down below. I would recommend adding this to your basket. And then of course Elizabeth Arden R super known for their capsules. I've got <laughs> vitamin C beauty pie capsules downstairs and up here I've got my Elizabeth Arden vitamin C capsules. After the shower I use a vitamin C serum from Allies of Skin. I've got a, a plethora of vitamins. No, someone told me that plethora actually only relates to, oh no, it's cacophony, relates to sounds and not other things, because I said I've got a cacophony of um, serums, but I don't. I've got a plethora of serums, and it would be a cacophony if they all fell on the ground and made a clatter. Is that right? I think so. Moral of the story is <laughs> capsules are included in the 30% off from Elizabeth Arden. Their vitamin C ones are amazing, the hyaluronic acid ones are amazing, but the best of the best of the best is of course the original ceramide capsules, which I love, um, and just give you happy skin. My routine is when I've done my LED red light, I'll pop a ceramide capsule on after that, and I always take them with me when I travel because they are very travel friendly. So 30% off with the code Josie30. Um, is there anything else I need to tell you? I don't know. We've got Scarlett and her boyfriend Zach staying with us this weekend as well, so I basically just need to spend a little bit of time getting the house prepped, filming a few more stories for um, various bits and bobs. The reason I'm so late coming onto the vlog today is because I did double Pilates this morning. I did a regular 45 minute Pilates class, then I did an hour of cardio Pilates, which is when you have the jump board, so you're like jumping, um, but it's actually really good for your core because you, you shouldn't allow your reformer to move. So if you think if you used your legs, do you know what? I think I filmed um, a clip after last week's class on my phone to like remember the moves. So if I have got some funky clips, I'll pop them on the screen here. But you basically have to not push your reformer. So you have to land very gracefully, which means you have to really use your core to make the landing soft. So it's a real core workout. You do 30 seconds um, jumping and then 30 seconds to a minute of a hit. So that might be tricep dips, it might be mountain climbers, it might be side planks with weights for an hour. <laughs> so it's an intense class and I always feel amazing after it. And then I had three calls that I took at um, the gym. So I had over an hour long call with YouTube, which was so fascinating. I've got so many amazing insights and I've learned so much about the channel. On that note, if you're watching the videos and you're not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. There's still a big chunk of you that watch the videos really regularly but haven't actually hit the subscribe button. So please do do that. If you would like to know a little bit more of like the analytics and kind of tips that YouTube have given me. I'm always happy to share that kind of info. So let me know and I'm really happy to do a little tips for YouTubers, especially as we, not that I'm like the queen of knowledge, but I, if I learn something, I'm always happy to share it. Um, and maybe I'll do a little segment on that in an upcoming vlog. And there was something else I needed to tell you guys. Oh, YouTube premium. I personally am a paying customer of YouTube premium. And I was just thinking, if you find that you get a lot of ads in my vlogs, which I don't control by the way, I got like, obviously I control when I talk about a brand and they have paid me to do that integration, that is within my control. But the ads that you see before, during and after the video are beyond my control. And I know that they bother some people. Um, so what I would say is, especially with vlogmas coming up, now might be a good time to try YouTube premium 
amazing. Like, I never see any ads. I'm always watching something on YouTube. There is always something on my phone. At the moment, I'm watching an hour-long video from Sheer Lux. It's about party wear. I was watching Lauren Grace's channel earlier, her outfits. You can see what I've been watching, actually. Um, yes, some of my own videos because I basically watch them back before they go live just to check they're all okay. Alex's videos, Leonora, Laura Burns, Em, Emily, Freddie, Vogue. Yeah, if you watch a lot of YouTube and especially as we're coming up to Vlogmas, I would just consider getting YouTube premium even if it's just for the month <laughs> so that you don't have to watch loads of adverts if they bother you. If you just want to keep watching for free and um, watch ads then that's totally fine. Anyway, I feel like we're losing the sun already and it's only two o'clock so maybe the time has come <laughs> for me to brush out the curls. But I'm just going to prep everything that I need to film the set of stories that I need to do, which today I need to film a set for Beauty Pie. I'll tell you about the products that they're launching when I film the stories because I need to refresh my memory first. Well, that turned out rather fortunately. The sun has just re-emerged um, as I came in here to film my stories and the pink room, the lighting in here now, for once... I'm not gonna complain. I just use this tangle teaser to tease out the tangles of my curls and I find that it just leaves the curls looking really nice and doesn't like completely fluff and brush them out. Anyway, so as I mentioned, I was filming some stories for Beauty Pie and I'm gonna share the deal with you very briefly as well because it's amazing. So we all know Beauty Pie is a luxury beauty membership. Once you've got the membership, you have access to the members only prices, which are amazing you can get so many of my favorite beauty products um and basically they're like a fraction of the price of typical brands because they don't have the traditional markups you guys know you know how beauty pie works well if you've been on the edge of um wanting to get a membership but maybe just needed like a little push over the edge or maybe you've got a friend that wants to get a membership that you could get them for christmas this would be a really good way of doing it so basically this is their mini kit the cost of this mini kit I've taken all the products out, it won't come empty, is £29, but it's worth over £140 within the mini kit, and I'll leave a direct link um, to how you can get it down below. Within the mini kit, you get a little card which you can activate a three-month Beauty Pie membership, so that's one thing. You get a full-size Japan Fusion cleanser, which is just an absolute delight to use, and we always, you always need a good cleanser. You get their, again, full-size Wonder Gloss Collagen Lip Oil, which I just popped a little bit on top of my lipstick to film the stories. And the colour that you get, I didn't actually have this one before, I had their sparkly one. It is just so flattering. I feel like, I think I'm actually going to get one of these for Scarlet Petra, Viv, my mum, everyone. I'm going to get everyone one of these at Christmas because I just feel like that is the most universally flattering colour, isn't it? Oh, sunshine. <laughs> I don't know if that would have made it any clearer or not, but look at that for a colour. And it's so hydrating because it's a lip oil. And I feel like, according to my far younger and cooler friends, apparently lip oils are having a moment on TikTok, and this is definitely the best one I've ever seen, but that's not all. You also get full size of the Super Healthy Skin, which is my favourite body lotion of all time because it smells amazing, it's super hydrating, and it's nice and affordable on Beauty Pie. So you get those three products and a three month membership for £29, which is like insanely amazing. So I couldn't not share that with you. Um, I'm gonna film one more Instagram story in here while the lighting is nice because I'm, I wanna share a little bit on stories for cyber, but at the same time, I don't wanna like share too much. But one that I think a lot of people will be interested in is the, LK Bennett 30% off everything, which is currently top secret, but, but by the time this video goes live, I think it'll be announceable. If not, I will just get in trouble. And this is just the most fabulous piece. They so very, very, very kindly sent over this gorgeous dress. And I thought I'd just shoot a quick story wearing this here in the pink room. I'm gonna have to find some scissors to chop that off. I think I'm gonna wear this tonight actually because it's so fun. And then I'll basically just save the Instagram story and publish it on the day that LK Bennett go live with their 30% off. Maybe they will let me share it with you guys earlier. So I will leave again a link down below, but it'll, it'll all be on the Black Friday hub. Anyway, let's try this on. 
I'm not too sure where to put you with the um the lighting in here. That's probably not the best, is it? But oh, how cute is the Amazon jumper dress, by the way? I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. No, that lighting is not good. <gasps> this coat. Oh my gosh. This is so. <gasps> I think Freddie's going to like this. Oh my gosh. This is freaking adorable. I feel like my personality has two sides, like countryside Josie and the browns. But then the side of me that's not willing to give up the pinks. The little waist belt makes it so flattering. I love the fluff on the sleeves as well. Speaking of fluff, I've been wearing the Amazon slippers. <laughs> Decided to keep them. Um, and they are literally the most comfortable things in the entire world. As is the dressing gown. I wore that this morning. 10 out of 10. Oh, we've got little pockets. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Well, it's a few hours later now, my darlings. I just got caught up editing and sharing content, etc, etc. And now the day is done. Well, although it's not done because tonight I've got a very, very exciting evening. I'm heading over to, as I mentioned, the Chippy Flower Farm. There's a company... Oop, dog's going mad. There's a company, a group called Neighbourhood Cotswolds, and they are hosting so many lovely events throughout, you guessed it, the Cotswolds, and tonight is a supper club. So I thought it'd be so lovely to go along with Petra. It's in the flower farm, which is such a lovely place. I've got thermals on, I've got a cashmere jumper dress on, and I've got a fluffy coat because I've got a feeling it might be a little bit chilly. Accessorised with the... Kate Young earrings, um, my Noura pearl ring, and my usual clusters. So without further ado, let's get going, and I'm gonna meet Petra there. It's a five course tasted dinner, and the menu looks insane, so can't wait. Just arrived at the Chippy Flower Farm, and what a transformation, my goodness. So this is where we are dining this evening. It looks so magical. We have got a welcome cocktail. And look at these place settings, my goodness. We are going to have the most magical evening. So let's take a little peek at the menu that we've got for this evening. So we have got smoked salmon wreath starter. We've got Persian rose potatoes, comfy chickpeas, and pistachio and rose cake with rose cream for pudding. Oh my goodness, it sounds sensational. We have these lovely crudités and they are in these little dinky plant pots. That is so adorable. We've got some crazy strobe lighting going on at the moment, but here we go. Part of it. 